first and foremost, we like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakodash. We like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well, who teach us truth through the Spirit and power, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. And peace and salutation to the Akian Zemori who pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. You know, they be chilling that camp, you know, we just come to do a quick little edification to edify the elect. You know, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You know, we are just, you know, vibes in, you know, you know, speaking about, you know, the, the things to come. You know, what Jacob gonna, what Jacob gonna get, you know, to see the fall of the enemies, you know, to see them in chains. Just how the hard we, you know, it's gonna, it gonna be unto them. Because the scriptures say that in, in Deuteronomy, right? The Lord gonna bring the curses upon our enemies, you know, so hey, they gonna get at his side. But guess what? When the Lord, when the Lord, Doing something, you know, you just get ten times more. You just get ten times worse. You know, the scripture says, you know, it's still gonna be double, right? So, yeah, quick little precept, you know. I'm gonna bring out here. Yeah, we can get at uh, Sirach 25 seven. Sirach. Huh? Yeah. Look at Sirach. 25 seven. Yeah. That's the one. The book of Sirach chapter 25 verse 7 25 and 7 There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy And the tenth I will utter with my tongue A man that had joy of his children And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy Yeah because right now we don't have joy You know we can't joy with children today You know because hey Hey slavery you know You're going through it Just as we You know but the time to come here, eh, we're gonna enjoy our children. That's right. Right? So scripture says a beautiful thing to see the, the fall of our enemies. You know, because we got, you know, eh, two thirds of Israel running around here, balling, you know, eh, these things with the so-called white man did on us die the past. You know, and let bygones be bygones. You know, we are all friends and you know, eh, whatever happened, it done happen already and die the past. You know, the white man is bad again, he's a good old white man. And that is, that is not so, okay. right? Because the scriptures say, you know, the, um, the Lord had burned it with vengeance. That's right. Right? And he's going to repay vengeance unto the ungodly. Yeah, the Lord, he's going to recompense them because he's a power of balance. Precept. Right? Good. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83. And I'll start at verse 1. It says, Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still. O Yahweh, for lo thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Yeah, so who, who do that? The other, these other nations, the so called white man. Right? You know, they, the, the, they do all these things, you know, to. to, to, to Turn all your from all your power. That the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. That is why you know they tell all you that you know wherever land you're born in, you are to go by that land. Right? Okay. All these things you so-called white man do to turn all your from all your power. Okay. But he fear your Basham your shah, he fear the he fear the most high. He know where the most high is the most high. He know all your history more than all you know all your all yourself. But he know who all he is. Right? So he turned all from all your power to worship all these idols. Continue on. If, right. if, if I can say something real quick too, because by, by the so-called white man, alright, by the so-called white man telling you that whatever land you're born on, that you, you know, you use a Jamaican or you use American or you use a Chinese, right? Which the, all that is part of um, separating you from Israel. Because we, we were sold into slavery. We was raped out, out of our lands, all right, out of um, Jerusalem, okay. you know. And by he putting an order, oh, hey, you, wherever you're born, that is where, that is well, who he is, you know. That's why Paul said he is neither Jew nor Greek, because we are all Israel, okay. you know. So, so all, all, I, all I spot that is part of the, the witchcraft. Okay. Okay. And they just show the so called, these either minds them know that the name of your Abasham Yashai holds a lot of power. They know that. Can. Watch what, what happened to the, the, the walls at Jericho. 
That's right. <laughs> right? So they know. Right? So he know you know if Jake wake up and turn back to the power, it's gonna be crucial to he. Okay. It's gonna be devastated to he. That's right. So he wanna hide away in that 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 blind that blindness. You know, so all they doing idol worship and all these things to turn from all your power because you know all your power gonna all they gonna get all your ass cut. Hmm. You know that. Because when the scripture say in Amos 3, only only Israel the Lord know. Okay. And he's gonna punish me for all our iniquities. That's right. So the so-called white man knowing the scriptures, he knowing these things. So what do you think he's gonna do? He gonna he gonna he gonna deceive all you. To do these things, just as we do in the, in, in the garden, that's what he's so fun. Oh man, if I could say, uh, he's Can. a master deceptionist. Can. And he's kept to say they choose in Psalms, I believe it's Psalm 60, 64, it says, Thou choosest the tongue of the crafty, who wet their, their tongue like a sword. So the so called white man uses his words, his cunning, craftiness, his speech to, to, to slay, to lead you into destruction. Can. And as, as you brothers brought to the brother, um, Yatazak brought to the example, you know that that we under laws such as just just um just solely and just sanguinis. All right, but just just sanguinis and just solely is Latin terms, but just means right and solely goes back to the soil, right to the soil, and sanguinis goes back to the right of birth, your lineage, yeah. which is the true one, which is according to scripture when you go into new um numbers, sorry, numbers the first chapter, it showed you how uh, a nation of people with uh, Israel would count their their pedigrees. Beautiful. You understand? By their fathers, not by a land. Yeah. You understand? And the so-called white man, the, the deceiver that he is, applying these just solely and, well, just solely mainly, that just solely law, which is right to the soil, gives him the, 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 the hand or the chance to claim to be an Israelite. Because he took us out of the land, mm -hmm. he went into the land, started having children in the land, and so, so whosoever born in the land of Israel is an Israelite. That's not true. Because yeah. these, these damn devils, they're born, I just kept saying um, Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 7, it says, Your land strangers devour it in your presence. Mm -hmm. Your country is desolate. Mm -hmm. these, these are strangers that are now being born in that land of Israel. Mm -hmm. When the true Israelites are scattered around the four corners of the earth. Mm -hmm. Because the scripture says, A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. That's right. So they are bastards, they be, be, be the Israelites. Okay. But and, and today, through the Spirit of the Lord, they're being sought out. They're being found. All these different the, the, the deceptions of the so called white man is being made revealed by the light that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai sent to his men. Alright, it begins with his men. A most verse 7, the Lord will do nothing but reveal the secrets to the servants, the prophets. And this is something that has been hit for ages. ages. Who the true Israelites are? Who these damn devils are? And it's known. Today, through this powerful work that we do, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that these devils are the biblical Edomites. The ones that can never claim their own identity. They're always <laughs> taking other people's own. And these devils, as, as the lesson is, the, 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 the mode that the lesson is, these devils are soon going to be in chains. That is our enemies. And they are going to feel the, the, the recompense that is just for them, that is right for them, That's for all the things that they did to us. Quick precept Go ahead. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 14. It said, the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, so they're going to come, they're going to come bowing. You know, to the same man, the same black man, the so-called black, so-called black man, right who they, des they despise, they call, you know, a forsaken, forsaken, you know, they call me all kind of, you know, wet back can. You know, Africans and all these, all these bywords, these same people, all they're going and bow to. That's same right. man you despise That's right. and hate. I'll jump the verse um, 16 here. Yeah. So, like, if I could just bring Can. this quick precept here, just to add to what the brother just said. Yeah. Isaiah 62 and verse 4. It says, Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken. Man. Term, to be, to term something is to give it a name. And that's what these, besides moving us from our land, they, they actually termed, they named us, they gave us certain names like blacks, Negro. negroes, God. niggers, that's how far they went, niggers, I turn it into a great insult, you understand, call, we call them, let's call them, they call them niggers. <laughs> By um, a, a, a product of Esau, hmm. because a, a, a nigger is an attitude. That's right. You call them kings, priests, <laughs> niggers. 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 Chosen. Are the Moshe, Abba, Shemiyoshe, they who you call him, right? Come on. 
and when they and when they give us these different terms and titles, that is them basically calling me for Satan. Can. Because when when we have our power with us and we add our Yasharala and we do anything that the Mosa requires of us, these nations, as you skip that saying of Exodus eleven seven, against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Can. When the Lord for Israel, they can they wouldn't be able to speak against us. And that is about to happen in the future. Mm. And why they ain't got these nations, they ain't gonna be able to call us these different titles anymore. They could do it now. Because they're in the power of their hands. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The enemies, they made the tumult, they will confederate, and now they, they are above us. We fall under the curses, we sin. But in the kingdom to come, we're gonna be alleviated from these curses and, and now partake in the blessings, which includes these nations being afraid of us. That is in Deuteronomy 28, verse 10. The nation shall be afraid of you. When you're afraid of somebody, you just call up their name. <laughs> <laughs> or you just, you, just, you just mock them. God. You just scoff at them. No. You just get that person reverence. You just bow to that person. And that is what this priest is going into. Isaiah 6, they're going into these nations having that fear for the nation of Israel. To what the Lord is about to do. They're going to come. It's not that they, they want to bow. It's that they have to bow. The vibration that is going to be on every Israelite man in that day, from the day of salvation when we are changed, when these nations see us, they, it's like it, it's a fear going on beyond them. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, verse 15, I'm um, talking. Oh, you're talking about the forsaken. Mm -hmm. It says, Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee. I will make thee an eternal excellency, mm -hmm. a joy of many generations. A joy of many generations. Yes, I'm to say, brother. Who, Daniela? Daniela. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Let's right. right. well, bring a quick reset to back up here now. See? Yeah. In um, the Isaiah 66, verse 14. He said, And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like, like a herb, herb. Hmm. and the hand of the Lord shall be known towards his so servants. Once. And who's the servants? The servants, the servants of the nation of Israel lies in um, Isaiah 41 and verse 8. Let me just validate that. Isaiah 41 verse 8. It also happens in um, Isaiah 44 verse 1. There's Isaiah 40, 41 and verse 8. It says, um, But thou Israel art my servant. <laughs> Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. It's what it says in um, chapter 44, verse 1. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant. So read that part again, Ak. What are you going to do to his servant? He's saying, and, and the Lord shall be... And the... All right, I will start over. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 66, verse 4. He said, and when he see this, your heart shall rejoice, mm -hmm. and your bones shall flourish like a herb. Mm -hmm. And the hand of the Lord, Yahweh, Basham, Yoshai, shall be known towards his servant. And where is, and where is that hand? I skipped the scene Isaiah 11 11. It shall come to pass, the Lord shall um, shut forth his hand a second time. Yeah. Uh, his hand, that hand represents salvation. Yeah. Him sending all our hand to pull us out of captivity, which was salvation. Okay. Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Yahweh Shai, he is salvation. That is the hand that the Lord is going to stretch towards his servants. He's going to send Yahweh Shai to deliver us. And that is what we believe in. That is not a niggerly belief. All right, that is the true belief. You gotta be of the, 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 the remnant to understand and believe these things. Alright? Because you people, that's, these Christians especially, they take up the Bible and when they see servants there, they're thinking they're talking about anybody who believes in Jesus. No! That's pertaining to the Israelites. Read that again. You see, and when you see this, your heart shall rejoice. There's a rejoicing coming. And your bones shall flourish like a herb. And the hands of the Lord shall be known towards his servants and his indignation towards his enemies. You go ahead, brother. Right? And, and who are his enemies? Really, brother, now read, you know, in Psalms 83. Mm -hmm. So if you read lower down, the Lord name the enemies. If you could bring it back quick, act, act. Yeah, you bring it back. You know? yeah. It's Psalms 83 going down to the list, right? It says, For they have consulted together, Psalm 83, verse 5, for they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom Gun. and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines, Gibal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Asher also is joined with them. 
they have helped the children of Lot, Selah. Yeah, so you know, and, and they're showing the Lord name out the enemies here. Yeah. Now, right. there's a, there's, now, there's a, a scripture where the Jehovah witness them like to read because that scripture, I think, is in the last verse, mm -hmm. which oh, yeah. where they always say, you know, Jehovah, whose yeah. name is, you know, where that they say Jehovah. Okay. They that, they that, but they does not read them first high up. No. To see that the Lord have enemies, that, you know, the nation of Israel have enemies, you That's know. Right. These people, them, you know, they want to say, you know, like these people, they be friends. They want to cleave to the other right? nation. They want to yeah. cleave to the outside nation. The Lord yeah. didn't deliver away into the hands of our friend. That's right. Lawless enemies, enemies that hate. They hate the most high, guess what? And they use the sons of your bash from your shrine. And they hate your father. Yeah. The 80 sons? Right? Even your even say, your shy say that. The world the world hated me before it hated all you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right? They they hate him. Right? Can. And then when you read these things for, for Christians, like if you just bl plain you read Isaiah 60, you, you, some, you go to a church and the pastor asks anyone has a script to read and you read Isaiah 60 uh, and you start to break it down with these nations bowing to the nation of Israel. They will say, no, that's not what it means. Gatekeepers. <laughs> that's not what it means. The Most High didn't create any nation to serve any nation. And it's so spiritual because just last week, I had read this, this precept with a couple other star pastor. And that is, what he, that is exactly what he told so, me. So, so I'm telling um, Revelation 13, 10. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Yeah. And, yeah, sorry. Nah, no, listen. They used to show the, you know, the, the mindset of these this niggas today. They had a, that, that slave mentality. They had no problem with the so-called white man on top and they were working for the white man, you know. Yeah. And they get a little position, a little yeah. foreman, a little supervisor. They're okay with that. Like witchcraft, boy. Desire to be fed with the scrums. Yeah. Hey, boy. Yeah. They, they contended with that. They right? want more than that. To be slaves in this, in this place. To what hey, the scripture say, hey, men who, who is nothing. It's like spit, them is like spit that mm. come out from your mouth God. over you and you you glad by and you happy with that boy content where, the comfortable the where, where, where 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 Minimum wage they're working for and they're saying, but yeah, I working for 50 hours, you know. Big money I working for. That is scrum you get in computer with your master, these, these, these men over you. Banking families. Millions yeah. these men making off of your blood and sweat. And you contended with $50 an hour, like that plenty money. <laughs> hey, Jake's dumb as hell, you know. Yeah. Our precept, yeah. What's Jake say? What? They're, they're selling fruits on the streets. If you ask, if you are, if you are wrong with them, ask Jake. She had the mind of ruling. She just said, "Yes, I want to rule the world." Can he? They him sing that song. Um, I think it's Beyonce. Who, who run the world, girls? Yeah, the women and all the women and all the high spirit, the high spirit are but They want to rule. Why wouldn't you want to rule? No, you you want to settle for to for be less. equal there. Yeah. You want to be equal with the, 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 the slave master. I'll bring all this right? precept here. If you done. Yeah, the second is just chapter 6 verse 54 mm -hmm. And after these Adam also whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures right. Of him come we all and the people also whom thou hast chosen The people also whom, whom thou hast chosen, has chosen. Yeah. Right? But in, in Christianity again has damaged these people's minds so, so much That you, you, the, 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 the ruling over somebody now is it's such a, a bad thing but, but guess what? People are ruling over you. People are ruling over you at this at this very moment here. Yeah. That's right. You have no problem with it. With their ruling over you. That that they call that Stockholm syndrome. God. That is a bad that is a bad 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 case of Stockholm syndrome that Jake's Jake's have on them. Right. You know? And they don't want to they don't want to rule over the, the oppressors. But guess what? The scriptures say, even though you join hand in hand with them. They shall not go unpunished. Mm -hmm. Right? If if the Lord had to come and, and push you aside and, and put you to death, 
to get to them he, that is what he will do and that is what going to happen hmm. but they're not going to go and punish right the scriptures the scriptures say by their blood they, 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 they will, will, will the land be cleansed that's right they shed blood now the only sound the way the, the, the land going to be cleansed is by their blood that's right okay so they're not going to escape on, look, they just wanted um they wanted there's what revenge for the, the Holocaust but it doesn't wanna exactly. pay for what they did unto us. Who possesses who possesses them and hold themselves them. not guilty. Like, right. Right. right so he saw they 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 showed the the unjust. It's not no balance with me. Right? Because it's something if somebody do them wrong, or do them something, they must have justice, you know. Mm, they must have justice, but the teacher, all you know, let bygones be bygones. They know all can justice. Even with, with, with Pearl Harbor, watch how fast they retaliate with that. Mm, but they are quick to retaliate or to, to admit to their wrongs so what they do to the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That is, why, that, that is why the true judge come in. That's right. And they're gonna, be, they're gonna be tried and he's gonna be found guilty as charged. <laughs> when, they, when they say, um, how, how do you do the verdict? Where the verdict played? <laughs> Guilty! If, if you're not in that spirit of, of ruling, of conquering the nation, because that what they say, Yahweh Shai is going to do when he comes. If you're not in that spirit, then Yahweh Shai cannot use you. That's right. He, he may have to dispose of you. Can. Because your, 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 your spirit is not the spirit he's looking for when he comes. Can. When he comes, he's looking for a spirit to conquer the nation. You see? That's right. You, 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 you just had to, the, the Lord just had to dispose of you. Yeah. He's not in that love everybody's spirit. When he comes, he's not going to be in that love everybody's spirit. Precept for you. And forgive everybody with ice cream and cake. With flowers. That is an unbalance. That is an unbalance. That is not balance. That is an abomination. You see? Just balance. Yeah. They were the Lord delighted and just balance. There's a Every woman man sin it by the same he shall be punished. Can. There's a woman up, up by me, you know, she she understands that. She said she tried to tell people that. And they like I don't want to let even Eve and all Eve. She in the correct mind. She might read the scripted and see what it's about and you know and say, Yes, that, that is what I want. I want to be. I want to take back revenge you know uh, not Jake Jake he the spirit of, I don't know what kind of spirit is that that is the weakest spirit I've ever seen hmm. Precept for you docile God, right. there's um, Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 12 it says and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish it says, and punish the men that are settled on their lees. The men that, that, that are settled, the, the men that are comfortable. Don't think you, you, you're not going to go and punish also. Because you, you, you're not about judgment. You're about being comfortable in this, in this wicked, wicked world. Right? And, and, and giving, giving the enemy a pass. That is what you're about. Let bygones be bygones. That is what you are about. The Lord go, go punish you also. Read, read that again. Eh? The book of Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with yeah. candles God. and punish the men that are settled on their lees that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, <laughs> neither will he do evil. No, nah, he's a good Lord. He's a good Lord. He don't do good. He wouldn't do evil. He wouldn't do evil. He wouldn't do such a thing. <laughs> they put the Lord in a box and, and talk about God. God is only God is good. No, He's a terrible power. Also, He's, a, right. he's a power of balance. That's right. But you know, that is why you know these churches them they don't, they don't teach that. They don't teach you know the Lord is loving the Lord is. But they don't teach the dread of the Lord. So the people have they had a fear. Yeah, they don't they don't know their Lord. They don't know the. They don't know the Lord and I have no fear for him. Because all what happening now, when you just say, I think it's in the game house, shall a trumpet be blown in the city. Yeah, it's gone. And the people right. not be afraid. And the people not be afraid, shall there be evil done in the city and the Lord had not done it? Is Yahweh Shabbat Shai doing this? 
פיס אפיר, בבקשה. דייזי בוקה ואם ג'רמאט, שפטר 5 ו-20, אומר, דקלר את זה בחוס של ג'קוב, ופובליש את זה בג'ודה, אומר, Hear now this, O foolish people, and with all understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not, fear ye not me, saith the Lord, will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it, and though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail, though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. But this people had a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our power that giveth rain, both the former and the latter in his season. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withheld good things from you. The Lord always send the prophet, he always send, you know, his servants to give them warning. You know, and that's why they, you know, we all day on the highways and the byways. That's right. You know, to wake up Israel, you know, to show them the dread and how bad from your shy, turn back. You can. And that's where the candles come in. So you will serve Jerusalem with candles. The candles is who's the men. Can. The men with the light. Can. At the center, there's a precept that says, um, the, the heart of man is the candle. So you can just search up a bush, let's put man. And candle, I either psalms or proverbs. Man and candle. The men who have the light, the men who have the truth, you will search out Jerusalem. That's the men he sent on the highways, the four corners, the highways and hedges. Can Proverbs 20, 27. Proverbs 20, I was looking for the Proverbs 20, you could read it better. Proverbs 20, verse 27. Mm -hmm. He said, the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, Yahabasham Yoshai, searching mm. you see that? all the, the inward parts of the <laughs> belly. <laughs> the spirit of man is what? The candle of the Lord. So I just read in um, Zephaniah Zephan 1 and verse 12, where it says, And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. Hmm. Them candles is, that his, is his men that have the spirit upon them. All right, that goes out on the highways and hedges and, and brings out the judgment, revives that fear of the Lord within the nation. That is the candles. But then he says he's going to punish those that set on their leaves. Those that hear in them and not saying, hey, yeah, all right, let, let's, let's push with this. You understand? We, we can't settle for this, for this oppression that's taking place. And, and, and they say, show, you know, none of them could never say, Lord, will. we didn't see a prophet. We didn't see, you know, huh. we didn't know this. Right? You reject my truth by no, my, 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 my all yeah, yeah, reject them. And all yeah. they turn from them, all they reject them. All they scoff at them. All they laugh and mock them. Yeah. Therefore, all they, all they reject yeah. me. I'm, I'm a priest up there. But I'm a priest up there. This is um, Genesis, uh, Genesis um, 2. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of Yahweh moved upon the face of the waters. And Yahweh said, Let there be light. And there was light, hmm. and power saw the light that it was good, and power divided the light from the darkness. So, so we, we, we represent, you know, the light, the, the, light. The, you understand the, the elements, can, can. and, and the light, the light yeah. represent what the the, the, the commandments of Yahabashim Yahushai because yeah. it started from from Abba Bevans. God said, let there be light. Um, Yahushai said that um, that John that Elijah will be sent back before the coming. Come, you understand? Come. So that, that spark, that light began from above heavens, and that light keep shining. That's right. And and the most I, you know, he was hey um that is in the book of uh, well, Ma Ma Mal Malachi. Um, the books were, were written. A book of remembrance. Right, the book of remembrance. Of because Yahweh Hashem saw so the light that it, that it, it is good. You understand? What we're doing is good, it's something good. And it go ple uh, you know, it pleasing to the Mosai Yabashem El Shai. That's right. And and what the Mosai is gonna do, he's gonna separate the light from the darkness. That's right. You understand? The book of food, so so the chapter. So, so, yeah. Sorry, and, and it's gonna bring a, a new day. And it's what? And um right? Right, verse 5. And God and Yahweh called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day. Mm. So for when the Lord divide, divide the light from the darkness, well when when he let be delivered, you understand they're gonna have what? The first day. You understand we're gonna take that first breath. We're gonna have new things. You understand? 
Yeah, sorry, you understand? Because this side it will, will be called the dark, and the other side is called the light. And that is what we head into. You understand? So it's this like a body. beautiful precept here. The first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that, that they should overtake you as a thief. Mm -hmm. Ye are all the children of light, mm -hmm. and the children of the day. Children Kingdom of, of the day. Children of the day, the day God. you're talking about, yeah, brother. the first day, that's the first day. We are, we are children of the day. Yeah. The day. God. Go ahead. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Hmm. For they that sleep, sleep oh. in the night. Wait, what means by watching and being sober? Pause, that is going into these prophecies a right and having self as the scripture says in your patience possess your soul okay. while watching for these prophecies and I'm um, occupying till he comes as the scripture says and abiding in the world using the world the scripture says to be sober be have self-control can because hey, the scripture says wisdom so scripture says wisdom make it a man face to shine mm -hmm. you understand because with the wisdom you go understand what to do and what not to do because you have the light to see, you have the understanding to see, and that is what sep Go ahead, finish up, brother. And, and that is how you can, can, sorry, that is how you can separate the good from the bad. That's right. And guess what? When when you're in darkness, mm. right? When you're in darkness, what what did what differentiates the, the 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 blind from the seeing? Light. Can. Light differentiate because when when all the lights turned off, your, your, your eyes open and you're seeing it, but it's black. It's you're black. It. <laughs> you're just like the blind when the lights off. Yeah. But when the lights turn on, there's a different. There's yeah. a there's a, a differentiation there between the the, 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 the blind and the seeing. And when yeah. the script just say put in, they how is coming. Hmm. See, the script just say he's gonna go into Egypt with a swift cloud. Can. He appeared unto the the, the the um the disciples. All right on, on the Mount of Transfiguration, when he showed them the vision, they saw a bright cloud. Ah, Even yeah. in Thessalonians, yeah. it talks about the brightness of his coming, whom he shall destroy with the spirit of his mouth, and then the brightness of his coming. Mm -hmm. So when the, that day of the Lord is going to really differentiate, as, I con as the scripture says, um, to convince, as Jude, where it talks about e Enoch also prophesied that the Lord shall come yeah. with 10,000 of his yeah, saints, saints to yeah. convince because that day when them when the lights come when them flood lights turn on when them chariots come mm. and evade the skies it's going to show you who was the one really seeing and who is the one who was really blind hmm. <laughs> can I, I read on over this precept as an from 3 go ahead Genesis 1 and verse 3 and God said and Yahweh said let there be light and there was light mm -hmm. And Yahweh saw the light that it was good. And Yahweh divided the light from the darkness. And Yahweh called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. You understand? So the. Hey, why? Huh? That's that, it. Hey, it coming, boy. It's coming, boy. Right. And you, you said something, brother, earlier, yeah, but um, what, sp what started this light that we have burning today? You mentioned a uh, prophecy spoken of in Malachi, the fourth chapter, where Elijah was prophesied to come again okay. before the great and dreadful day. With okay. that great and dreadful day is the return of the Lord. That was that is not when he came being pushed out nah. by Mary. I, like the great and dreadful, dreadful day, day yeah, is when son? he comes this time to execute judgment. judgment. And guess what? The, the Elijah, the prophet, he came. Can. And he's known to us, and we believe to the spirit that he's El Abavivans. That came out of the command, the group called the commandment keepers in 1970. All right, he actually he actually went. He was in the the, the um, commandment keepers group in 1940, and by 1970 is where he broke off and he began to teach the whole book, Can. the volume of the book, because the commandment keepers you suggest keep the Old Testament. But then through the spirit of the Lord, he broke off from them and began to teach the volume of the book which Yahweh Shah is. Can. And then from him, we had um, King Masha, High Priest Arya, High Priest Yaquab, and, and then our elders, all right? And we have our, our teachers today. The scripture says, I shall see, see your teachers. teachers. Can. So it's the light, it began with these men mm -hmm. and it continued on burning through each and every one of us. Can. Can. Right? Add a precept just to back that up. Select a John 5 and verse verse 33 it says he sent unto john and he bear witness unto these things so like movement with the car ah uh, it's lost it there right yeah verse 33 again it says he sent unto john and he bear witness unto the truth 
Hmm. But I but I receive not testimony from man. Is it how was I speaking? You say you don't receive testimony from man. <laughs> it says, but these things I say that ye might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light. Hmm. That would say about John. Yeah, hey, what should I say about John? Because <laughs> hey, if I could say this, when when the, the Pharisees um, wanted to, um, that was talking to you, I was shy. And what I was shy say, um, was John teaching? Was it from man or was oh it from um, Yahweh? And they couldn't answer. They, 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 the scriptures say from that day onward, they asked him no more questions. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, and are you saying what we know? Because hey, if you if you just ask them that question now, some of them might say no, and some of them go they 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 they, 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 ask, they answer the question. I said, I just keep that say, um, uh, ah. he say you give us a mouth and wisdom in which our adversary shall not be able to gain say. <laughs> no more resist. It's like they can't do nothing. Yeah. The trap. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what the Lord used to do them back then. The, the, these are. That is spirit. That is spirit. Um, Isaiah 6 and 8. That is spirit. What the Lord have on them. That's right. They're seeing, right. but they can't see. Yeah, you know, son. That is spirit. Day. It's not given unto them. Can. And he told the disciples, it is given unto you to know, but unto them it is not given. Hmm. So let's finish it off. It says, He was a burning and a shining light. The same John, who, who we know is Elijah the prophet, who we know is El Bivens. Can. He was a burning and a shining light. And ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light, but I have greater witness than that of John. Because what was happening at that time is that the people, all right, the people, when John came teaching about the how shy to come, they endured for a little season. Even some of these, the Pharisees, the wicked Pharisees, and them went to be baptized. And he said, what warned you? <laughs> oh, wicked oh, generation yeah, of, of vipers. vipers. You understand? So at some point, they were listening to John. As he scripted, said, with that same question he asked, yeah, you brought out, Ak, where, they, um, where he asked, where he asked them, um, was John's work of God or was it of man? Right. It said that they feared to say of men, because the people, the people perceived, perceived that John, John was, was a man a prophet, of the, a prophet, yeah. a prophet, a man of the Lord. Can. So the people at, at, at that time of John, a great amount of them was believing in John. Can. But when, when it is Yahweh Shai came now, a lot of them started to disbelieve. That's why he said, in John, let me read it again. Because they didn't have that, that extra faith to step on, to step up to that level that John was speaking of. It have one coming after me <laughs> whose sandals I'm not worthy to bear. God. Him, he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. God. And when he came, just as prophesied, he was a rock of offense and a stumbling hmm. to many. As Simeon, as Simon, the man who waited to see the consolation, God. as he said, this child shall be for the falling oh. and rising God. again of many in Israel. God. A lot of them, when you wish I came, they stumbled at that stumbling stone and fell. They Can. fell off from believing. Can. <laughs> Continuing, it says, read it again. Um, where was that? Right. It says, He sent unto John, and he bare witness unto the truth, but I received no testimony from men. But these things I say that ye might be might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John for the works which the Father had given me to finish the same works that I do. Bear witness of me that the Father had sent me. Because guess what? Yahweh Shai had a greater, a greater um, prophecy to yeah, fulfill can. than John. Yeah. So the testimony goes back to what? He said, I don't receive testimony of men, but of the Father. Can. The testimony goes back to the prophecies. Because the scripture says in um, Revelation 19 chapter that um, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, the test. Get on in yeah. um, Revelation 9 and 10. 19, 10, Salah. Let's validate it. Where the angel came and he bowed to the angel. Right. Verse 10. Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. Mm -hmm. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. That have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Worship which, Yahweh. Which that testimony, as Yahweh Shai just said, is not of men. Hmm. Go ahead. Worship Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. Spirit of prophecy. So when he says he have a greater, let me read it again. It says, but I have a greater witness than that of John. He was talking about the testimony, prophecies that was pertaining to him was greater than what John had to fulfill. Because it was spoken of in Malachi that John will come. John, 
John the Baptist came and fulfilled that, that, that prophecy there where he would, he would come, the messenger, he sent my messenger in Malachi 3 and verse 1, he came and he fulfilled that part, but then Yahawashai came and fulfilled that greater. Okay. A greater, he had a greater witness, whereby he came and as um, Isaiah 53 says, he was beaten for a transgression, he was wounded, all these things he fulfilled. Okay. Even in Psalms, it said that they pierced his hands and his feet. Okay. These are things that witness, that is the witness, that is okay. the proof. That Yahabashai is the son of God. He came and he fulfilled these things that were spoken. And this is what he told the disciples in Luke 20, 24, 44. He said the things that were written in the Psalms and in the prophets and in the and in the writings and in the law, sorry, I came to fulfill. He tell them that plainly. So that yeah. is the greater witness. Him fulfilling the things that were spoken of him to fulfill. God. But it all comes through the order. It came from John. And then on the way down to our apostles, and then here we are today, shining this light. These men, the men on the street corners, started with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, are those candles. That is the light. Can, can. Go ahead. So like anybody had anything to bring up? No, it's perfect. Can you see it better? And, so you have something to say, brother? You go ahead. We are just, um, you know, and we, you know, you're shy, you know, you come and you know, and fulfill you know these things you know was spoken about you know in the scriptures you know what must be done you know and you know we, we believe we believe you know we believe on those things you know and we believe you know that we promise us that's right where we're gonna re where we're gonna receive if we if we keep faith in this okay. right because we're gonna receive of his father hey you're gonna share it unto you that's right. God, that's that, right. So sure that that is our brother, that is brother. That, that is. And you scripture say greater love had no man than this. God. And to lay down his life for his friends. He how a shy came and gave it up so that we could receive or be partakers with him. Like that we say, he um be not be not uh, afraid for I have overcome the world. <laughs> he did it. They overcame through the blood of the Lamb and the word of his their testimonies, and they love not their lives unto the death. God. So it started with the blood of the lamb God. being shed. So yeah, how Shai came and that sacrifice he did is, is what gave us access to as the brother going in to receive of the things that he was he's about to receive. That is beautiful, that is yeah. love. <laughs> so show you the Lord is of order. So it's just saying let everything be done decent and in order. It has to have order. God. From the head, as the scripture says, the, 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 the head of the woman is the man. That's yeah, right. the man is your shy, the other your shy is the father. It's order. It's order. Right? Everything can be, you know, to say, you know, everybody is the boss. No. Yeah. No. Nah, everything. No, it, 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 can't, be, it can't be like that. No. Right? Have the head, it has the tail. That's right. Right? So, with the mindset Jake had today, you know, he, them what he spoke all right, man, you know, he's the head and them just be in the tail. Hmm. They want to continue in that, and the Lord didn't make it so. The Lord, didn't, the Lord didn't create, you know. Go, oh, we are His firstborn. Right. Life doesn't work like that. We are mm. the head. Everybody can't be on top. Equal on top, and and all of us. You see, that's what going on with Jake. Some Jakes, they they, they they like this. All of we equal. All of we share the same blood. Nobody should. So nobody must be ruling over nobody. And life doesn't work like that. It always have. It, it always have an order, it always has the top, it always has the head and the tail. That's right. Somebody had to lead. Always, always. Always. And that is what it's saying, um, Sirach 33. He says, so look upon the works of the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. They are two and two, one set against the other. Yeah. It's to, to bring that balance. One must up, one must be up and one, one has to be down. down. One has to rule. And one to serve. So, and I select so God. Yeah, and the shoes. Jake, you know what? Only wasn't me to be to the bottom. I'm not. The Lord made all to be on top. top. I'm mm -hmm. the end, you could just say that in, in, in Deuteronomy 28, the blessing. But right. funny enough, funny enough, they would call themselves a king. But they say, all of these kings, all of, all of us come here. If I, could, if I could get about the same precept in um, second address. Six. See, sir, once on horses. No, six, 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 Second Ezra 6 verse, I'll start back at 54. And after these are them also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all and the people also whom thou hast chosen, 
All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Yes, may Lord choose our people, right? To be on top. Mm -hmm. A special people. Right. Pick the Gakri precept from where they are. Um, this one is Sirach 20, uh, Get Sirach 24, 12. I know I'm not going to fight. I think I want my phone. Sirach what? 24, 12. I can read it. Sirach 24 and verse 12. They say, and I look root in an honorable. Oh, right, this is um wisdom of Solomon. Alright. Chapter 24. Hold on there. 24 and 12, right? Mm -hmm. And I took root in an honorable people, even in the portion of Yahweh's inheritance. Yeah. Mm. The Lord took a, a root in an honorable people. Right? That's right. Israel, Israelites. That's right. Right? So you choose a special people. So we are not the same. Come on. A precept for you. Yeah. In Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6, it says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people above. that are upon the face of the earth. We're not talking about above. Come on. For them to be the head. Right? Can't. And these are the nations detail to be above to the Lord make it clearly. That's right. That's and right. The Holy goes back to us. Separate. That's right. So we separate, we're not the same. Whether your blood red like mine, that make we equal, that make we the same. No. No. I, I, it, it even differentiates. And not and not because we come out the same womb neither. Mm. Because what happened with Rebecca? Isaac had Re Isaac married Rebecca, impregnated Rebecca, and there were twins in her womb. And the and the prophets told her when she went to inquire of the Lord, the prophets told her two manner of people shall be separated. Yeah. Two manner of people eh? shall be separated. So, They're not the same. Exactly. Not the same. Not because we all bleed red. The, the, the Jake's just Jake's just simple. <laughs> Cause Jake's will come with yeah, them kind of talk. The the, the simpler just but they, they wouldn't understand that enough. But yet still they would they would understand something like um why could come out of two black black parents they will understand mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but black can't come out of two white parents they will understand that though but it's the same thing and it happens today there's there, that is called our fraternal twins yeah um. where one one comes out looking pale skin but what we're dealing with here is the lord setting up his choice, choice line, line yeah. that's what the lord was doing from very from the very beginning the lord out of sun he just choose one that happened with cain and abel that, that happened with Isaac and Rebecca. That happened even with um with Joseph's sons, Ephraim and Manasseh. Two different lineages. It happened with Noah. With Noah, Shem, Shem Ham and Japheth. Right. You understand? The most high is a select. That happened with um um Tira, Abraham's father. Right. Where a Abraham had two other brothers, which was Nah, Nahor, and Haran. And out of these sons that Tira had. Abraham was the one the, the most I chose and said go and be separate can. Can. so it's, it all winds down to who is the seed of election and guess what the seed of election is the Israelites he chose Adam out of, out of his own family to, to be separate that's right that's right simple and that's clear. right and later show it when you read Lord down in that same ship in Genesis right when the Lord said he planted a garden way he saw Eden that's right separate he separate by separate. Eden <laughs> I, if I can just continue on reading yeah. Verse 7 says The Lord did not set his love upon you Nor choose you Because you were more in number than any people For ye were the fewest of all people hmm. We were the fewest of all people Let's imagine that The nation of Israel actually came up last hmm. That the youngest nation Israel Think about it Because Elam Elam was the son of um, Was the son of Shem Okay. Or one of the sons of Shem. That's a nation that was already named Elam. Okay. You understand? Um, Ishmael, or the Arabs, was already set up before Isaac had Jacob. Because Isaac Ishmael is Isaac's big brother. Okay. So the last that would have had to come for out of all the nation being created or started, the last one to come up would have been Israel. <laughs> Israel, Jacob. Because these nations would have been like like um. Lot's sons. Lot's sons was Moab and Ammon. Like the Chinese and the Japanese already come out before Jacob. 
Udi lo ada look for? Di Hombol, di Mi. Oh, he said. Di Kopi Lama, Dua Leten, Wat Ten. That's right. Hombol. He said he was, that's why he said, that's why he said here, he was the fewest. Mm. And then he took from the, he took the fewest, and he tell, let me know what's going on. I'm going to multiply you all as the stars of heaven. Can. You know, they just look like, you know, <laughs> same thing with David. Mm-hmm. Amongst all the brothers. Can. Who the chose the youngest one? <laughs> Can. The shepherd. The singer of songs. Not songs. Hmm. Amat, amat. And guess what, David? David is the king of Israel right now. <laughs> He's the king. All right? He's the one that is right under Yahabashai. So from this this young boy that was the youngest of a brethren to be the king, <laughs> <laughs> he was watching after sheep, <laughs> and then now the king of Israel. That is the, that that gives you insight into the mentality, the mindset of the Mosai. Yeah. Be humble, humble yourself. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. This shoot. That what he said. That we said. He said, humble yourself greatly. He said he will exalt the humble, and bring down the proud. So as the brother rightfully saying, the best, the best mode to be in this truth is humble. And it might take an event to humble you. It might take a couple rebukes to humble you. Because we just come in this truth with worldly mindset, with as the script, as the um the saying goes in the world, sorry, your ego. Okay. You come in with your ego, you come in with certain things that you learned, and, and that pride developed within you from in the world. And, and it might take a couple rebukes, it might take a situation. All right, it, it will take the word ultimately, the spirit of the Lord, to humble you, and you have to take that humbling when it comes. So, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the scriptures say to all the, the meek shall inherit the earth. That's right. So, like you look at these Christians and them, they just already go about saying that I save, I delivered, when they're still in captivity. Versus us now, we are, we main thing is to try to seek after mercy from Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. Yeah, yeah. Because the scriptures say the, the wages of sin is death. That's right. So all of us are worthy unto death. Mm-hmm. But it's true Yahweh we save. That's right. And if it was so like if it wasn't for Yahweh, all of us would be unto death. Because he was the only man that had the ability to, to lose the seals. That's right. That's you understand? Right. So them just go around and say I save I delivered as I always bring up this video, the pastor say if you go to heaven, <laughs> you find him there, then you have gone to hell. You understand? <laughs> Basically saying like, yeah, 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 if, if he, he yeah, can, mm-hmm. you know, and that is pretty, he's coming, they ain't going to receive salvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, they're <laughs> the ones that, that, that want to get leave, you know, leave back and because can. they're proud as hell. Can. They, they, and they're not the spirit that you was shy looking for. Well, he, saw me, he made movies because the movie knowing. <laughs> with Nicholas Cage's father, he right. was the pastor, yeah. and he get burned up in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make it. Oh, Who make it? The young fella, Can't. Caleb. Can't. Cause that was the young fella, that was the young boy named Caleb. Yeah, Caleb. Any movie? And the little girl. And too. the little girl. Can't. And with the angel, do the angel block him? Cause he cannot go. <laughs> so he asking his father, you know, why the angel saying that? So he saying, what the angel saying? He saying only the chosen must go. <laughs> wow. Only the chosen yeah, must go. So. You saw, I'm not sure, hey, this is a show of these white, hey, Jake's, Jake's asleep, boy, Jake, boy, Jake, boy, Jake is real reprobate, you know. He saw, he saw, he saw, he saw Kia come up with a, a, a movie like that, you know, out of your own nah. imagination, boy, nah, just, to, just to make that, boy. No. He based that on scriptures, boy. Can, can. He based that on trip, scriptures. No, what about the dream, the boy, yeah? When everything was burning. Yeah. yeah. The angel show him that vision. <laughs> hey, you see he balling and crying? Yeah, he you get frightened. Like fucking ball. So imagine Ezra, because Ezra said when he see the destruction, he was so afraid, he was he was frightened. Mm-hmm. When he see that, they just show you, hey, boy, fear your abash, I'm your shy boy. Man, all of them they get... Who is me, who is me, going to deliver we, boy? We they get a black stone to end. Yeah. Each one of them that was of that, that chosen. Of that black stone. That was like, that was like the, 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 the mark. Because when the scripture say, you know them that had the mark, who mm-hmm. hurt not them? Can't and that mm-hmm. mark is what? Nima Yorba Shum your shy boy. True. Can't. So he saw, he saw no end. That's right. A precept here. They Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 20 said, The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not, not saved. saved. <laughs> we saved yet. Yeah. We, we these Christians yeah. are more they saved. Saved, saved, saved and what? sanctified. And guess what? That fire that they're seeing, that is not from below, below the earth. Eh? That fire that they, they try to present in movies is not this mystical place mm-hmm. called hell. That is, come, that is from them nukes. 
You yeah. people gonna burn when the nuclear war takes place, that third world war takes place, and these nations shoot them nuclear missiles. That is that gonna be that great, that burning. Okay. I just, just spoke, speak something in Malachi 4, you have that there? Okay. You can read it, Papusha. Malachi 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. It shall burn as an oven. That heat come, going to come from what? When them nuclear missiles hit the earth simultaneously, 400 million of them, 200 million, sorry, warheads, have right when they hit during that third world war, which we see things turn up. Russia right now, going back to that Soviet mind state, that he hooks in the jaw. The Lord is bringing everything in place for that third world war. Okay. Where the bear is going to, re, going to defeat them. The defeat, defeat was of bear. A bear's foot. Mm. The end is going to come with Russia, going uh, uh, America, and all these nations that are allied to them going at it. And America is going to stand alone and be burnt. The scriptures say the, con the Confederates are going to turn again, turn against them. The beast shall hate the whore. And we see nations like nations in the, the NATO, like France. France, France. Um, in one article, they said that they want to go back. They want to leave the NATO and go back to to to, to, to Russia. To be an ally to Russia. Because going back to World War One, you have to remember in 1914, when it was all starting up, at that time, France was an ally to Russia. Okay. But now are they NATO? They're NATO now. So the Lord bringing everything back to how he wanted to, to, to get our war taking place, yeah. to get our war going. That is what by Revelation 17 and 17. 17. Yeah. Let's see if I get one. Joel, Joel 3, you're going to bring them down in the valley. That's so, right. Revelation oh. 17 and 17. And this, and that's like, yeah. That is the end of this devil's war. That third world war. And the scripture says the day of doom is the end of this time. God. That doomsday is going to be when these nations decide, yeah, but we go press them buttons. Mm -hmm. And it's going to happen to the angels. God. In Revelation 7, say the, the angels holding back the four winds. That wind is the wind of destruction. The, 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 the time period where they're going to fight that war. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Revelation 17, 17, for Yahweh had put in their hearts to fulfill his will. And that is even the movies as we were talking about. But the movies that they put, they produce, some of them is, is messages to us. Okay. You will call it subliminal, sub, it's subliminal messages, messages, but the ones are going to decode the messages who? The elect. The, the elites. The elites. The messages elites are not Yahweh. for them. They're not going to receive it. Can. It was not a fan fiction, but like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a movie. But the Lord put our spirit on them to create such movies hey, to give yeah. us hope. Hey, God. he saw. He, he ain't saw, coming up with that just so. No. Nah. He saw more spiritual than Jake. Yeah, we got it. Out, really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he saw, you know, look at it. Jake's, Jake's, Jake's dumb as hell. Him, the animal is better than. Yeah, more smarter yeah, than Jake's. Yeah, because yeah. Jake's yeah. that an ox now because Ola and Ola is massacred. See, he's wiser than Daniel. He saw more spiritual than Jake. Trust me. Maybe the, 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 um, the cat who I have home. Mm. When, I, when I call that cat, he come running. Because he know he, he know he owner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Jake's is all kind of mm, no. different owner, boy. Jake's <laughs> in all kind of madness, Jake's in. Yeah. They yeah. know the, the owner. Tree. They need to show you the mindset of Jake's sortage, boy. The dance, boy. The dotage, boy. Yeah. And they're going to be burnt to up. explain to Jake that, yo, the Lord, if man have that, that technology to make flying vehicles, you don't think the Lord have technology to make flying vehicles? Hmm. All they try to pull out of the mind them like, like, them like, technology them hey. can't be advanced at the most side. What the them have? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> better than all the way you have, what you now looking to come up with? The book of John, is say a man can't receive nothing unless it's given mm. from heaven. So <laughs> all that technology them have. I just scrums, I scrums technology to what the Lord already have. You understand? Know, yeah, can't. Not only that, but understanding, man can't be given but the, nothing. But then they can't they understand, understand how the chargers just move like that. Can't. They can't understand can't. how it is move. It's a phenomenon. Up to, up to up to rotate this, up and up day, and down. Men see the scene lights in the sky, you know people seeing? They're seeing like the clubs that never shine in the light <laughs> in the fucking clouds. <laughs> yeah, disco lights. Ah, <laughs> precept here. Yeah. There's Isaiah 31 and verse 3. It says, now the Egyptians are men and hmm. not God. Hmm. And their horses flesh. The horse, the horses flesh. The, the, the vehicles that he saw traveling, they can't think. Low level shit. The horses flesh and not spirit. These chariots are spirit. Spirit powered. I just kept saying, wherever the spirit, uh, Ezekiel, the first chapter, wherever the, um, the spirit wants to go, they go. 
They, 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 they're connected by spirit. They're not, they're not something carnal. It's a higher level of technology. Don't try to, to figure out that with your Lamborghinis and them kind of thing. Don't try to compare your fighter jets to what you're seeing in the sky. And that's why a lot of the, a lot of the pilots, when they, when they, see, when they often see um, chariots, they just be like, it was a. It was a. They can't even describe it. They can't even describe it. So they say they say it's something a giant called. Titan. They say um, it, a hundred years, a thousand mm. years, and more, more advanced, advanced in front mm-hmm. of the, in front of it. A thousand years is plenty. And that's what it's like to some of them scientists and them just go wrong saying that the Lord do exist because they can't seem to fathom He existence. But Jay can't even fathom that, that the Lord have vehicles. Because if you really think about it, for somebody to exist. Before time began, you mm. know, phantom that the Lord have vehicles up in the sky. That's <laughs> hey, I tell him, Jake, though, where you think, where you think the ring around the sun is? <laughs> he he said that he's a. Hey, what's that? Finish it. Mong Mong Sai, Mong Sai Nai, right? Watching some videos, that whole mountain black on top where the angels was, right? Mm-hmm. The scriptures say when when the children is well, um when was there now Can't. that they say what um it's when the Lord descended on the, the mountain. The Lord come down on the mountain like and burn a, a perfect full. circle around the mountain. You know? Yeah, like what, like a furnace. I tried to, I tried to bring that to Jake and tell him where you think that was, and he still can't get it. Hmm. I say look, the the a beaker come something come down mm-hmm. and spoke to Moses on the mount. What do you think that was? And it, and it burned a, a circle, a perfect circle. Mm-hmm. What do you think that was? Like... Yeah, precept, yeah. Glory and a precept there? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I have a precept here. Yeah. Yeah. It was the Master Solomon chapter 5 verse 2. Because you know Daniel is saying, how they just can't accept that the trials of the Mosa is the so-called UFOs. That's right. Yeah. You know, and when you tell them chariots, they think he coming with horses and, and, yeah. and a literal chariot. It was the Master Solomon 5 and 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all they look for. Even, even, um, what, what, what was Bob Marley's son name? Um, he more spiritual than Jake. Damien Marley, at all. Damien Marley, most, he, the, listen to his song, he said he, he, he tried to, he tried to bring it to the people, you know? he tried to tell the people, look, I see 10,000 chariots riding without horse. Without horse. What, what, we, Chan, Jake don't put two one and one together. They don't try to, you know, connect the dots. Connect the dots. And and and, and that song going back to slavery, swing low, sweet child. Yeah. Sweet child. Yeah, swing exactly. low. With horse and carriage, you know the swing. <laughs> <laughs> what was seeing and singing right. them thing? How to be where this what we describe in the scriptures to be the chariots of the Lord. They what they call you a force. They can't. They can't put that together. All the way tell them, you a force. Them thinking aliens, okay. like your mind, the mind block. Ah, <laughs> right. And, and the you brother now bring all that precept. They're gonna be amazed to see the strangers. The strangers. Yes. Cause they're gonna be strangers. Yeah, wait now. The strangers. Aliens. Well, aliens picking up them people, there, boy. <laughs> Did them people getting abducted down there, boy? Yeah, yeah, boy. Fuck, boy. Yeah. Oh, good. I look the back of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Aliens taking them. They shall stand. The strangers say they were standing all. They go stand in awe. God. They shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. The things that they're going and see, they're going and bug them out. Yeah. Man, yeah. Men's hearts failing them with fear. God. You should just say, at a precept here, that's a match with the strangeness. Job chapter 31 and verse 3. It says, Is not destruction to the wicked and a strange punishment hmm. to the workers of iniquity? Hmm. Because hmm. A, apart from the strange salvation, there's going to be strange punishments because first time you're going to witness a man getting cut in half by a laser beam <laughs> from a chariot or turn into dust like we saw in um, War of the Worlds, it was War of the Worlds, they just they're getting blast and turn into dust and that what it speaks of in 2nd Ezra the 13 chapter, dust. Strange punishments. When it's Lord said you're going to beat up the powder, it's dust. <laughs> That's right. Our, go, go deal with them. Our next one here. This is Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 21. It says, For the Lord shall rise up as in Mount Perizim. Mm. He shall be wrought as in the valley of Gibeon. 
that he may do his work, his strange work, hmm. and bring to pass his act, his strange act. Hmm. Strange, this of his salvation. The first, the first sight of this chariot, of our chariot, over the sky, discovering the sky, people are going to freak out. They're going to wonder what is this? <laughs> this is what we do. Oh, this is what we do. Was talking about all the time. They're going to start a scamper and scatter. Aliens come in. This is what they was talk. This is what they was hiding from me all the time. Mm. They could not tell us about this. Mm. Mm. I, 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 something I close my eyes and I see, I see it, people. I see how they, they go, they go react. How they go get on in the streets. How they go run up and <laughs> yeah, down. Like mad, these people say they shall run to and fro like when blind you, men. When you, like when you watching the chariot and they're bowing down, they go say, "Boy, run! Hi, wait, wait!" <laughs> I just see these people like the dumb as hell. You see, when you see it, you shall, you shall flourish like a herb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're going to be glad to you see the Lord's salvation. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. This, yeah, this is the man. day that the Lord has made. Man. Man. The day, going back to the day. Can. All right, the first day. The first, <laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice <laughs> and be glad in it. Can. Come out of bondage. Can. Come, Can. Out of this. Can. Come out of these bodies. Can. First chariot we see we go and rejoice. The very first chariot we see we go and rejoice. The AC on that? Can. Cocaine in the glass. Well, I mean, you can get no, you can get no, you see you. Yeah, anything I can read was true. Yeah, go ahead, we finish off. Say, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves. And that is who? That is two thirds. Can. That the ones that forsook and despise the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and mocked his prophets. They're gonna be what repenting. Like when they repenting when you get a repentance close. <laughs> That's the funny thing. They're gonna be repenting when it is the Lord comes, when they're seeing the salvation taking place. That's not the time to repent. The time to repent is now. I read the script. They say, "Come now, let us reason together." He said um, in Acts, Acts 17 and verse 30. Um, at the time of ignorance, the Most High winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Go ahead. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision, mm -hmm. and a proverb of reproach. And derision, to have you in derision is to have you in a, in a state where you can laugh at you as a laughing stock. Like people pass us when we're on the junction in QF and they say, Look at them hard men and they build their kicks and they pass in the car and they, they, they spew all their, 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 their slogans at us and all kind of thing. All they, all they pray, all they like, and all them, all them kind of mockery and scoffing. Mm -hmm. And I show you we not greater than me master because look how they do to you, I wish I. Because they put a crown of thorns on his head yeah. and gave him the read and say, Here lies king of the Jews. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they spit on him and beat him and mock and scoff at him. So all, if we follow him in the Awashai, then we are to receive our same cup. That's right, that's yeah. right. Go ahead. It say, And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall see within themselves. So they, that they come in, they're going to regret. Can. Can. Mockers and scoffers, their time is coming. Mm. All right, these I just kept this says they shall come in the last these mockers and scoffers walking after their own lust. These mockers and scoffers and scorners, their judgment is soon approaching. Judgment must begin at the house. Go ahead. This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness mm -hmm. and his end to be without honor. So they accounted his life madness, and as you said, so like. Can his life madness, and that's what they say about Yahweh Shai. As, you, as you're saying, brother, okay. that the things that Yahweh Shai went through, being that the servant is no greater than his master, we also had to go through it. And, hey, and then go back with the dream, the dream you were telling me about this morning. This morning, yeah, I I am um, wake up and I didn't know really know how I was. I know when you wake up, mm -hmm. stupid, like, can, can. I wake up and I was saying, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, please. Do send, do send the plagues on me and do send the plagues on my brethren and upon Israel. And the voice, I thought like someone was talking to me and say, Well, if not unto Ole, who will you send it to? And I was saying, Well, send it unto Esau Edom. Right? Send the plagues unto them. And the voice was like, Here, yeah, what I will say, I will give Ole some. Because Ole had to get some too to pay for the things that Ole did. Yeah, yeah. actually, wrong thing. You can. see, you see, do send it upon Israel. Israel have to get can. And it say he it say I will give all the some for all the things that all they did. But don't worry the, the main plagues and the main destruction will go on to Esau Edom. And then when 
when he said that, I was like, can and then I wake up huh? and I didn't remember anything I dream or remember anything what was going on. And I asked myself, I say like, who you was talking to? Mm. You know, I didn't have that remembrance. Hey, this, your family, that, that's Yapa. Can, can, we get a message from what the brother saying. You understand? What the Lord or the angel, whoever was, tell, was, was telling you, was period. saying, is that yes, plagues will not come to Israel, but not as much as going to go to these Edens. Hmm. So it's the, the, the person you was talking to, the spirit, the angel you was talking to, was giving you the reality of things. <laughs> okay. So the portion of Jacob is not like unto him. Yeah, it can. In the form of Voting. all things. The Lord going to have mercy on Jacob. Isaiah 14. But, but I say, none shall go on. We, come. I mean, it had to come. But the majority, the majority, he's not going to feel it. Right? Uh, you know, feel okay, gonna feel it. When he say call no man perfect but the father, I, I okay, mean, okay. if they will receive it. Yeah, okay, yeah I was yeah, Adam okay. and yeah, I wish I was Isaac. Melchizedek, he was Solomon and he, and he went off. So when he came back as the Messiah, as yeah, I wish I. You know, he went and he came and he paid for his sins and he paid for the sins of the people. Yeah. 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 This, um, the book of wisdom of Solomon chapter 11 and verse 25 it says and how could anything have endured if it had not been thy will or been preserved if not called by thee but thou sparest all for they are thine O Lord thou lover of souls it says for thine incorruptible spirit is in all things therefore chasteness thou them by little and little that offend God. and warnest them by putting them in remembrance wherein they have offended, hmm. that leaving their wickedness they may believe on thee, O Yahweh, for it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers both those old inhabitants of thy. But that was the point. It says by little and little as the brother um, brought out in the in the dream or the dialogue that he was having with the with the, the angel. That he is hey, gonna send plagues, but not as much. Little by little and little, he do it correct them. Okay. The Lord show us that which could say he have not dealt with us according to our sins. He didn't give us what we really deserve, because we really deserve his death. Okay. Every nation as well deserve. Okay. But he's gonna send plagues among us, and by send when sending those plagues, he's also gonna preserve. As I am Habakkuk asked him, in thy wrath, remember what? Mercy. Mercy. Okay. And that's what the Lord showing you there in that vision that he's, he's going to send plagues to us, but there's going to be mercy. Okay. Not the full brunt like this heathen is going to get. Yeah. Which you're going to go into chain after that, Zechariah 14, 12 plague. Okay. That's when, that one of the main plagues that are going to go to Esau. The, the, the flesh being consumed away while they stand on their feet. In America, all these heathen mites in America, all you jakes. Everyone that is a, in America that doesn't have this mindset that we're in, to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh which is the belief in Yahweh Shai. Hamashiach, the son of the living power, Yahweh, you are going to be burnt. Can I preach up here? Go ahead. First Peter chapter 4, verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? So that's showing you that even though we trying to go after the Lord, we still have to receive a judgment. That's right. That's right. We, even though, you know, we be repentant thing, we still sin. And you had to, to pay for the things that you did. So he will reward you with, with them plagues for, for your wickedness, mm -hmm. but he will also reward you with glory and immortality for the righteousness. That's right. And for your faith in his son, Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. The scripture says in 2 Peter, you know, if the righteous scarcely be saved, right? Where shall the ungodly be saved? Look at right here. Yeah. Yeah. It says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, mm -hmm. where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Um, yeah. Adam Brown is preaching for your clothes off. Can. Yeah. These are. Um, Psalms 37, verse 34. He said, Wait on the Lord Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, and keep his way, mm -hmm. and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. He said, When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. He said, I have seen the wicked in great power, mm -hmm. and spreading himself like, like a, a green, green bay tree. tree. He said, Yet he passed away. And lo, he was not. Yeah, he passed away, and lo, he was not. When is that passing away? When the nukes hit? They're going to pass away? No. 
that pass when the wicked going and pass away is after the thousand years of recompense. Damn. Don't feel like they're getting out of it so easy. Nukes and then all they're going now. When them nuclear missiles hit, the, the bulk of them, the elites of them that go into these bunkers around the four corners of the earth and these different places of hiding, I script the prophesy that them, them going into the hose of the rocks and climbing in, the, um, going into the sea and them going into, um, Space Station yeah, they are going to be taken and I spoken of in Isaiah 24. You're yeah. going to be gathered as prisoners is gathered to face a thousand years of captivity and then after that thousand years, they're going to pass away. The script is going to be fulfilled. Read it, you can read it again. Yes, I'm the same brother. Yeah, remember, me and Carl was talking about that because all the mice wouldn't get destroyed in the nuclear destruction because mm. who can build back the kingdom? Can. And as you say, with a thousand years, they, they, can, they can receive double on, on to, um, onto themselves what they what they gave unto us. Can. That's right. Yeah, it's good to say, you know, the day will come when the, the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Can. Right, all the things they do. You know, the hard breeding farm, they were breeding meat for mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Scripture say if you try and be multiplied, it's for the what? Sword. It's for the sword. That sword represent destruction, slavery too. It's can. That's right, that's right. And you skip that thing, we go dash the, the little one's heads yeah, against the stone. So How are we going to do that if they're gone? <laughs> yeah? Damn. No, we had to, they had to live, they had to be preserved. Yeah. And the ones of them that you're going to preserve is outside of America. The entire land of America, all the Edomites that are there destroyed. are going to be destroyed. But the ones of them that are in different parts of Europe yeah. and the different hiding places in the Caribbeans, they're going to be guarded for slavery. The elites on them that go be hiding in the cliffs of the rocks, rocks. and things too. Can. That's right. Brick pits, Esau. Mm -hmm. Because it have it have um it have certain bunkers underneath creek caves. Mm. Do you understand? Underneath mountains. And what what? Hey, let me show. They days why doesn't care get with Jake too. You know they say you know that the white man book. They don't believe any white man book. If Alexander, Darius, Atazuk, see all these was men. Mm. You know, what was even written before they even come. Come. And the things that we're going and do was written in scriptures mm -hmm. in sequence, you know. Come. Mm -hmm. Right? So the Lord say, you know, Jeremiah 16 verse 16. Right? We're gonna fish. We're gonna fish the men, the elect. Right. We're gonna you're gonna send hunters for them. So the Lord know hey, it's gonna have them in hiding that have to Come. be captured. Come. So I mean, this was what it is done written before it, it didn't even happen. No. It didn't even happen yet. <laughs> no. But there's the white man book, man riders. No man here, hey, none of ordinary men riders, Did boy. Did he say his testimony is not of man? <laughs> <laughs> you say his testimony is not of man. This is of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And when the most I speak it, I get in um, numbers. We could close, as you say. Salaka. Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. Yeah. Numbers nine Numbers chapter twenty three and verse nineteen. It says power is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? Come. And it was good. <laughs> when that day comes, the judgment that is about to be executed is all gonna be good. Everything is to the pleasure. You know, all things working together for the good to them that love him. That's going to be good. Esau being in slavery, that's something good. Yeah. The children of Israel ruling above all nations, that's something good. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. That was it. Let's close off with Revelation 21. All right. Very the faithful and true? Nah. Or the whole thing? Let's start from one. Okay. Kingdom. No. Book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 1. Yeah. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Yahweh out of heaven. And was that no more sea? There no more, no more nations to yeah. rise up against the nation of Israel. I skipped this in Daniel 2, the kingdom shall not be left to any other people. The sea represents people, you get that in Revelation, the 17th chapter. We say the seas are the waters which thou sowest are peoples, nations, and multitude. And when you read in Genesis, the first chapter, it tells you the gathering together of the waters called the seas. So the seas are the people. There was no more sea. I mean, in the kingdom, it ain't gonna have the, 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 uh, the oceans. <laughs> you understand? It's gonna have the ocean. This is something, this is some, something symbolic. It's a similitude that John is receiving here. No more sea, meaning no nation to rise up against the nation of Israel. Okay. Go ahead. I, I just show you the scripture is not just literal 
every single time because you say new heaven and a new earth, earth. people thinking that if the whole earth is going to be destroyed or something, no. it referring to Esau, sky, Esau you know, kingdom. kingdom. <laughs> Esau kingdom going to be destroyed. That's right. Because remember I was telling you that way, say, um, and I just saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down right. from here out of heaven. And a man say, is, is the literal kingdom? Like, <laughs> the, 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 yeah, coming down from, from the sky. <laughs> you understand? New Jerusalem. Hmm. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Yeah, Yerushalayim, city of peace. It's the people makes up a city. <laughs> All the right, not about, buildings. The scriptures talk about how how long the walls of them will be. That, that talking yeah, about man. The, the, mm. the numbers of the tribes. That's right. You understand? I believe it was a, a hundred and forty and four thousand yeah, something that's cubits. That, that's where it have come up to. Because that is that is, that is really Jerusalem that the Lord is about to save. The okay. capital of it is His men. That the temple. Okay. The temple is the men, and New Jerusalem is His men. That in this in this uh, in these bodies. New right bodies. and uh, that are about to be changed to them new bodies that is new jerusalem yeah. coming down because why they went up and when they went up they were delivered and yeah. being delivered they were changed okay. and coming back down they're going to be in that new perfection that new glory them new bodies under the new covenant new jerusalem for you no no damn physical building coming floating from the yeah. sky <laughs> nah that is not new jerusalem new jerusalem is a people that's going to be renewed to the spirit of the lord and I John saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down from Yahweh out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven well saying, decked. That, hmm. that going into the splendor. Because when a woman adorns herself for her husband on her wedding day, how would this be? She'd be <laughs> she'd sparkling. <laughs> she have on white. That represents us coming down in that righteous state. That, that, that perfected righteous, state. that perfected state. Because righteousness is perfection. You understand? Like the, us coming down with no blemish. Beautiful with crowns on your head. Because the, the crowning ceremony, that feast, is going to take place in them chariots. Go ahead. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their power. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death from their eyes Can. not everybody's eyes mm -hmm. from their eyes and there shall be no more death where amongst them because Esau can be dying when it say there shall be no more death you see I don't understand okay. these Christians they take these scriptures and say there shall be no more death so what are you trying to tell me why you can tell me Esau had a people we do and in the kingdom it had no more death there like, no more death for the Israelites you dummy okay. mm -hmm. the Israelites ain't gonna die but Esau is gonna die he's gonna pay go ahead Neither sorrow nor crying. Neither he's going to sorrow and he's going to cry. Can. Go ahead. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Yeah, the way the conditions we was in, that gone. We ain't, the scripture say we, we ain't going to even remember them things. The scripture say that he, it's going to be as though we had, it had not been, that we didn't even go into captivity. He's saying all the places we were put to shame, he's going to give us now fame. The former things are going to be passed away. A weeping man enjoy for a night. But joy come in the morning. How they had us on them cotton fees. How they have us now. You had, to, you had to focus on a 9 to 5. You had to pay taxes. You had to pay bills. You had to pay to drive your own car. You understand? This is the thing we going through on this side. You had to pay for water. You had to pay, you had to, pay to breathe right now. If you take off that mask, you go and get fined in public places. This is what we're going through right now. When the kingdom come, former things going to be passed away. This oppression that we're going through, that we're talking about, yeah. going to be passed away. The, the, the folly of this world, going to be passed away. And we're going to pass away with a great noise. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Second Peter 3. When, right? you're, when you're going through adversity, you understand the, the time does move slow. Mm -hmm. And that's always be thinking about. But when you overcome the adversity and you're moving along, it's like you can't even remember it. Um, it's a, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right. For these words are true and faithful. Can. Can. And then, hey, and with that, I hope this system was edifying. Giving all praises and all glory unto the Most High. Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Makakodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders that do rule well at Great Millstone. Say peace and salutation to Yoaki Amode, pushing his gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom to the humble and sincere sister out there as well. Lady Bridging from the JMS Trinidad Camp saying Shalom. 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 Shalom.